Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is NightshadowXO. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to equip gadgets, upgrade them, and unlock them in this video. Sorry, I did not uh, show you guys how to equip them in my last video. So I'm going to show you guys right now how to do that. All you want to do is go to your command tab, go to upgrades in the command tab, and then you can see all your gadgets you can see in the game for now until... This is only 2018, so they may come out with new gadgets, but in order to use these gadgets, like the Adrenaline Rush, Airstrikes, Banner, Slow Field, um, Mines, Hover Turrets, Splice Drops, and Transporters, you need to press like the Upgrade button to, in order to lock, unlock this ability. And now you have unlocked Unlock this ability. And then you want to keep doing it for every single one. I'm not sure if there is like uh, requirements for these because I can't see them because I have completed the game. So I can't give you that guys that information. But each time you upgrade your ability, it will cost more to upgrade your ability, guys. So on to the next thing, how to equip your gadgets. Okay, guys, in order to equip your gadgets, you want to go into a mission and then equip you. Your gadgets I'm going to go in my storm shield to show you guys how to equip your gadgets and use your gadgets and here we go guys and I'm gonna show you guys right now okay guys after you get into your mission or storm shield you want to go to this um these two bubbles right here and pick on your character when she's highlighted and then go to select gadgets and usually you'll be seeing no gadgets but um I already got my hover turn selected all you want to do is press this and you could be able to select two gadgets you guys can bring into the world with you. And all you want to do is press one of these. I'm going to use the adrenaline rush to heal players and revive them. And uh, the hover turns. And after that, you pretty much want to press launch. And then you can bring your gadgets in the game with you. And then you have to make sure you unlock them. And that's it. Then you can bring those gadgets that you unlocked with you in the game. Okay, guys, after you get into your Storm Shield or mission, you want to press F5 or F6. And this um, gadgets buttons will be different if you are not on PC. And all you want to do is look down there and see what buttons you have to press to use them. For PC, it's F5 to um, deploy your hover turret. And this thing will protect you to its uh, final death and it, it doesn't last forever it just keeps shooting until it explodes or it just goes away and if you want to use uh, adrenaline rush when you go near players or yourself if you really hurts you want to press f like you know uh, six and then you'll heal any players near you if this um ability is upgraded enough it will revive players near you and actually heal you after you're done healing so that's pretty cool but the other abilities, I'm going to show you guys how to use them. And here we go, guys. Okay, next gadgets I'll be showing you guys how to use is, uh, like, airstrikes and the banner. Okay, guys, after you get into your storm shield or mission, you can select your banner. And this will help your um, buildings out. And if you have it upgraded enough you'll be able to reset people's spawn points so if you're in storm shields and you want people to spawn and when they die and they will spawn where your banner is by pressing uh, six or any other button this thing will heal your structures like this or increase your structures and um it helps a lot but i'm pretty sure it won't do that and because uh, oh it is right there I thought I won't do it because I'm not in combat, but actually it's healing my structure so I don't have to use my resources. So that's beautiful. And it heals them slowly, but also increases their, um, I think it increases their health. I could be wrong about that, but still it's pretty awesome. And players will now spawn over there where your banner is, so that's pretty cool too. And also I'm going to show you guys how to use your... Um, airstrikes all you want to do is press this button and then press uh the right mouse button to select and do a different formation for your airstrikes as you guys can see and um yeah this is only has two formations of uh, attack 
the line attack and uh, heavy attack when it comes to trying to kill massive hordes that are coming after you. Or if they're too spread out, you want to do all airstrike on all of them, you can do that. But I am going to airstrike it right here to show you guys. And there you go, guys. That's how you use your airstrike and banner. Okay, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be selecting Fight the Storm, because that will probably be a low-level mission, but in uh, Point Peaks. But all you want to do is go into a mission, and I've been doing all these in the Storm Shields. But all you want to do is press Select, and then you want to go here, and then you can select your other ones. I'm going to be showcasing the Slow Field, and um, let me see... A splice drop, why not? I'm going to show you how to use these two gadgets, guys. Okay, guys, after you get into your mission or any other mission in the game, that your splice drop will immediately have um, six minute wait time or at least uh, five, like five minutes and 40 seconds of wait time for your ability to be even activated. So that's the bad part of having a um, splice drop. I'm going to show you guys how to use that later. Right now, I'm going to show you guys how to use the slow field. For the example of this video, I am going to use the slow field on the storm chest level 88 to show you guys how cool the slow field is. And all you want to do when you use your slow field is by doing this. And when you place it down by pressing 5, they'll try to jump in and they go in slow motion. This, build, this gadget will allow you to... Um, pretty much make it event more advantage for you to run around and not get as hit as much it's pretty cool see how slow the zombies are when they're trying to attack you and this gadget allows you to have an advantage over these zombies until it's gone and now you're pretty much pretty much screwed now because <laughs> your gadget's gone but it, it was good when it lasted just to show you guys what it looks like is by when you press it down and there you go and that's what it looks like it looks like a power cell looks pretty cool and it puts up this force field that slows down any enemies getting into it it's pretty cool but if you want to upgrade it it'll become bigger and uh, makes the zombies slower in it when you upgrade this thing but this is only level one so that's why I'm just showing it level one version of it just for you guys because you guys probably don't have the upgrade points or anything to get it to that level after your supplies drop is ready after it's done refreshing all you want to do is press the button that you equipped your um your gadget to and it will have this and it will tell you which direction you want your gadget to be facing towards you so if you want it towards your friend that you're giving it to or yourself then there you go but be in mind if you're new players players that will be able to steal your resources and uh, your gadget from you they can they can open your gadget so make sure you do this away from players or players that you trust that won't steal your gadget from you but after it will come down like this and then you're able to open your gadget and there you go it will have some stuff in there like materials but if you upgrade it you will get other materials later on in the future when you upgrade this gadget and it becomes a decent uh, supplies job after you fully upgrade it. So, um, on to the next gadgets, guys. Okay, the last couple of them I want to showcase is the mine. And then... Oh, yeah. I also going to showcase the transporter because I have not showcased the transporter yet either. So, here we go, guys. Okay, guys. After you get into your mission, you'll be able to... Um, Use your transporter like this. Okay, <laughs> Ray, stop it. And all you want to do after you place your transporter, you will have a couple of seconds of wait time. And then you'll be able to pick one of your transporter pieces up to pick it up. And after you've done that, you can press the right mouse button to switch it around. And this thing has only a certain amount of range before you get out of range. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when you go out of range. So the transporter will be um, trying to reconnect with the other transporter, but when you go into it, it will transport you to the other area, and the transporter is way over there, and this helps you with transportation when it comes to objectives, 
and places like if you want to get to the roof immediately if something's happening you'll be able to get there also I heard on um, projectiles that if you place your transporter exactly on top of the roof this thing will catch and throw out the um, artillery shots from those uh, those zombies are throwing artillery shots to your base I think that's you have to have that at full maximum sh transporter but I'm not sure if they remove that ability from the transporter or not, so please let me know in the comments below if that is the case, but yeah, you can uh, keep going back and forth if you guys want to. That's that's really cool. Okay, the other thing, you can you guys can place mines by with this gadget, and once uh, zombies walk over this gadget, the gadget will explode just like a mine, and there you go, guys. <laughs> that's how you use those gadgets. Both the mine and uh, the transporter, both will have a decent um, reload time before they're back and ready again. So, like every about three three minutes and thirty seconds, it'll take a mine to refresh. So that you have to be in mind of um, the refresh time. You have to use those mines not yet um, wisely, or you'd be kind of screwed if you use all of them and then you have s some other zombie coming up or something. But uh, there you go guys okay guys I showed you how to find your gadgets how to upgrade your gadgets how to use every single gadget in the game so there you go guys hopefully this video is the ultimate version of the other video that I meant to do but I didn't do because I thought you guys already knew how to find them and upgrade them and everything so um here it is this is the ultimate version of how to find upgrade and use all your gadgets in this game and the new updates i know it's kind of confusing so here it is guys but anyways if this helped you make sure you hit the like button comment down below if this helped you and hopefully it did because i i put everything in this video everything for gadgets so hopefully and if you're new to the channel if you like my content please subscribe because it always helps a lot and uh, catch you guys later goodbye and thank you so much for watching my videos Peace out.